Hi guys, this is Mohit from Indian iOS Guru and welcome to our fourth video on learning to build iOS apps with Swift. So in this video today, we're going to be talking about strings and characters. So initializing a string variable or constant is as easy as say let some string is equal to within double quotes, this is a string. So Swift will use type inference to automatically infer the type of the sum string to be of type string. So if we press the option key and click on the sum string constant, we can see that the type inferred has been of type string. So let's see how we can initialize an empty string. So to create empty strings, we can use one of the two options available to us. So one of them is where empty string is equal to an empty pair of double quotes. Make sure you mark these empty strings as variables and not constants because if you mark it as a constant, you will not be able to modify the string later. So the second option available to us is where second empty string is equal to here we use the string initializer syntax which is string parenthesis so you can see both are the same they're both generating empty strings for us so the next thing that we will be talking about is mutating strings so to be able to mutate strings we should store the string as a var rather than a let like example we can say var mutable string is equal to jack and now i can say mutable string plus equal to and jill so you can see our variable starts off as jack and then we are mutating it by adding another string to it and we get the final result to be Jack and Jill. So you can see that string concatenation can be done with the addition operator or the plus operator. So important thing to note about strings is that they are passed by value and not by reference unlike most other languages. So let us look at characters now. Swift, character, Swift strings are nothing but a collection of characters and we can use a foreign loop on a string to print its characters individually. So we can say something like this. For character in mutable string, I can say print ln character. So you can see this for loop executes 13 times and if I want to see the output, I just click on this plus sign. You can see the output printed out one one character at a time. So let's close this. So we can also create standalone character constants or variables. So let's say for example, let dollar sign of type character is equal to notice for characters as well we use double quotes in swift unlike other languages where you would use single quotes so let's look at concatenating strings and characters now so for example i have let string one equal to do something and let me say let string to equal to awesome so now if i want to join the two strings i can say where combined string is equal to string one plus string two so 
if you see the output you can see that do something and awesome have been combined into one string as do something awesome okay so strings can also be appended to strings with the help of the plus equal to operator as seen in uh, this example here so to append a character to a string we use the append function of the string type so let's look at how we do that we can do that with combined string dot append and here I can append a character which is the dollar sign so here you can see that the dollar sign has been added to my string so string interpolation many a times we would like to print the values of variables or constants of different types on screen in a complete sentence so Swift has a special syntax that allows us to do so. So for example, we can say let number of dogs equal to 3. And I want to print the value of this variable in, an, in a string to make a complete useful sentence. So I can say something like let message equal to I have. Now the way to put the variable inside this string is using the backslash parenthesis and within the parenthesis we pass in the variable that we want to print and I'll say dogs so you can see the output it says I have three dogs so if I was to change the value here now it says I have five dogs Now let's see how we can count characters and find the length of our strings. So the global function count elements is used to retrieve the number of characters in a string. So for example, I can say print ln the length of combined string is I use the backslash parenthesis operator. I call the function count elements and it within this I pass in the string. So in the output you can see the length of the combined string variable is 21. So string equality can also be checked with the double equal to operator as shown in uh, one of our previous videos which I will show you again in this example. So you can see that name xy has been set to Steve with a capital S and here I'm comparing name xy with a hard coded string called Steve again and the output is displayed as true. But if I go ahead and change this to small s, you can see my output is being printed as false. So the double equal to operator is very powerful in Swift and allows us to directly do string comparison. So this is the end of our uh, topic on strings and characters. Uh, the source code for today's video will be hosted on GitHub and the link will be provided in the description. Also head over to our website indianios.guru for a Q&A session on the topics. See you on the website.